Hello and welcome to this introduction. I'm going to talk about the BMS courses or it's better to say building management system courses based on Canix that is provided by ST Center. All details you can find in www.stcenter.ir. I hope you enjoy. My name is Amir. I have studied Master of Science in Mechatronic in Finland and I'm a Canix tutor, BMS expert and Backnet certified. You can always contact me through the, my email amir at sciencecenter.ir or sccenter.ir at gmail.com. Also, you can contact me on my WhatsApp number. I provide you all information in the comment of this video. So now we come to our main questions. Why we should learn BMS based on Canix? Our main goals in BMS is to increase comfort and security as well as reduce energy bill and eliminate maintenance costs in buildings. After I mention the main BMS goals that we need to approach it in smart buildings, I'm going to tell you some important facts about the BMS. What is smart building? What is the differences between smart home and BMS? Which buildings need to equip with BMS system? And which hardware or software we should use it? What exactly does a smart building mean? In reality, when we omit human from regular decision and let the system to decide control electrical and mechanical part of the equipment in building, then we can say we have the smart building. Otherwise, it is only some simple control. So implementing the smart building is not an easy job and it needs serious engineering tasks to do. Our next question, if you remember, it was what are the differences between smart home and BMS? In fact, when you are going to equip some building with automation system, we can say there are three major areas that need to be equipped. First of all, the rooms. So when we equip the room with light control, HVAC control, blind control, security control and safety control, then we can say we have the room automation or home automation of that room or unit. Also, we can equip the public area in a building with light HVAC security and safety control. And in addition, we can equip the mechanical room that is the important part of the building to the boiler control, chiller, pump, electrical cabinet control and many other sophisticated control. So when we equipped different part of the building to the automation systems and then centralize all control and monitor in one place. So we can say we are able to implement BMS system. Otherwise, if you only equip some room to the automation system, it is a home automation or room automation or office automation. But if you implement the automation systems to the all part of the building, then you can say you implement the real BMS. And that is not easy also. The next question was which building needs the BMS? I can say in 2021 all type of the building needs the BMS but I can say sometime needs more. The office building, commercial, complex building, hotel and industrial do need the BMS. As you see in a table, the BMS hardware and software based on Canix, Spacnet, Modbus, Loan, 
can fit all type of the building and it is absolutely powerful to equip these type of the building with such a products. Our last question was which protocol we should use it? I mean, which equipment, which software or hardware is better to use? As you see, there are three layers in BMS that should equip with hardware and software. The field layer that most of the sensors, actuators are used there, the control layer and the monitor layer that we need the strong software over there. So which protocol we should use it to communicate between these layer? It's an important question because we need some reliable, powerful and nice products. Now I would like to talk about the main hardwares we have in BMS. I can say the hardware mostly divided in three categories, actuators, sensors and controllers. As the actuators, we have digital output and analog output to control light, blinds, heating and cooling systems, valves and so many other things. These actuators can be installed in electrical cabinets or right behind the consumer. As the sensors, we have digital and analog input. We have room thermostat with temperature, humidity, carbon dioxide sensors. We have water level sensors, water leakage sensors, motion presence, light sensors, and so many other sensors. And as the controller, we have the light controller, logic controller, some controllers which implemented in actuators or sensors, some specific controller like hotel controller and similars. So when we do want to connect these different type of the hardware, it should be connected based on some specific protocol. So it is important to choose the right protocol. The right protocol must provide us high security. It should be open protocol and we prefer to have the latest technology. When we talk about the high security, it means it cannot be penetrated by third party and hacked by someone. So it should be very powerful in this area. And for recent technology, our protocol should have been updated every day. So for 2021, such a protocol should fully compatible with IoT. Among all hardware and software that provide the BMS in a war, there are some specific protocols, or we can say better, there are some specific products based on a specific protocol that are optimized to control the functions in building. So we can mention to Canix, Packnet, Modbus, Loan, and similars. When we talk about the open protocol, it means it is not only one manufacturer make that products, hardware or software, but also there are many manufacturers make the hardware and software based on that open protocol. So you are not depend in one manufacturer and you as a system integrator or the building owner can rely on many manufacturers. If you take a look at this picture, you can see we have the field level, automation level and management level and the hardware and software products based on BACnet and Canix can fulfill majority of our needs in BMS. You can see the products based on Canix can fully cover the field level devices and automation level devices. And I can say nowadays there are some nice products in management level also. So as a conclusion, if we equip the building with BMS system based on Canix, we can say our protocol 
is highly reliable. It is equipped with secure system to provide a high security. It is open protocol. It is fully updated and it can fulfill our needs for field level, automation level and management level. So I can say it is better for us to learn Kenix. It means we should learn BMS because we need to reach the main goals in a building and then learning the Kenix is the right things to do. So if you want to start learning smart buildings, what can you do in the first step? The first step is you search Google how to learn BMS. The second step is probably you should conclude that there are lots of protocols to learn. And the third step will be you should decide which protocol it is better to learn and which training center you should approach. So the first step to start a fast and powerful learning in the right direction is to learn Kenics and this is our opinion. We recommend you to learn Kenics in official training center like ST Center and receive the international certificate like the Kenix partnership probably if you pass the Kenix basic course you can receive the Kenix partnership and then also if you participate in other courses you can receive more the Kenix courses are basic course that is recommended for technical and sales advanced course it's more recommended for technical persons and HVAC course that is also for technicals. Learning BMS or building management system consists different concepts, protocol, software, and application. So if you want to be the BMS engineer, you should know about all of them. Let's see in Kenix how we cover learning materials among the courses. We cover the protocol in basic and tutor course, the software in basic advanced HVAC and tutor course, and the application in basic advanced and HVAC course. So if you pass the basic course, you can learn a bit about application, software and protocol. Later, with the help of advanced and HVAC course, you will get a deep knowledge in application and software. So as you see, Learning Kenix is the key direction for you to start your journey to learn BMS. Let's talk about our training center, SD Center. You can always reach us through the email and WhatsApp. As you can see, we are the official Kenix training center and we are able to provide you the following courses the basic advanced HVAC course and many other ones. Our online courses are done with a Google Meet that's a nice and powerful online meeting interface. Through the online courses we provide you the deep knowledge in theoretical concepts. Also we use the Canix virtual software to simulate all functions we teach you. Uh, that is really helpful. After you receive the certificate from Canix, your name will be published as a Canix partner in Canix website and it can highly help you for your marketing activities. Thank you so much for listening to this introduction and we hope to see you soon in our classes. If you want to receive the certificate, you should also participate in our practical classes that you will learn with real products. Additionally, we are ready to provide the classes at your office so we can come to you and teach you. To do so, as a first step, you can register in my.canix.org 
and start your journey. You can search the training center, find the Smart Training Center of Iran, ST Center, and we can help you to learn and receive the international certificate.